Hey everyone, welcome back. We're here with another Canterbury boss to survive. Now, I believe this is the 49th episode. And if you guys don't know, episode 50 is us going to be taking previous weapons. And we're going to be using them against the newer version of the Ugandan Knuckles. Because the newer version of the Ugandan Knuckles is a lot stronger than before. Today's weapon, though, is the OP Sword. Nice name, not generic at all. Does a lot of damage. 101 critical strike chance. Shout out Game Raiders 101. This sword is so powerful it can one shot calamity's dog a lot of weapons can actually do that nowadays damn this weapon is gigantic hopefully it's not compensating for something hopefully the gigantic sword it just you know it just is a big sword that's it no compensation needed let's get to it though uh there is actually a helmet op helmet gives us a bunch of defense makes you immune to death we gotta try that out later when we get to like the final trio just to make sure you know that, that that's not capping that is speaking facts when it says it makes immune to death. But yeah, let's get to it. King Slime. Game's gonna freeze for a second. Oh, hold up. We'll fight King Slime again. I, we gotta see how the sword is. Look at this. So, like, it looks like I shoot, like, a homing beam of swords. Kind of cool. Uh, it also gives us lifesteal. And I'm assuming... I don't know if actually if we can hit a point blank or not. Are we doing more damage point blank? No, nah, it seems about the same. But there you go. Let's fight the King Slime again this time. No freezing. Sweet. Easy kill. On to the Eye Cthulhu, another easy kill. Skeletron, easy kill. It's gonna be a lot of easy killing today. We've been going through some nice weapons as of recently. Let's see if I could uh, do a nice like insta kill here. Let me see if I could bring everything together. Okay, not a good start. Come on, everyone, like line up. Oh. Now, that was a satisfying kill right there. That was music to my ears. So is that. Let's bring out the Dark Mage here. And, of course, Lepus and Turkor. What's up, gang? Where's Lepus? Lepus always hiding behind Turkor, man. Scary ass. Always trying to hide from the fight. It is that time of the video where we add more boxes to the underworld. Let's add, like, three of them today. You know, you can't add too many. You still you still want to see the history grow over time. You know what? Two more. Two more just because. There we go. But we're making uh, some fast progress to catch up to the last world. Because obviously we got, a, we got a lot to catch up to the last world. The last world is ahead by like 20, 30 videos. All right, let us fight the twins. I'm just going to fight them at daytime. Might as well. I'm too lazy to change the time of day, even though it literally probably takes like two clicks. Still lazy. You know, it happens. All right, Golem, Plantera. Let's go ahead. Let's destroy them. Hopefully. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened there? Oh, okay. I saw what happened. It was trying to home in on the head. And that's why I didn't insta-kill him. Yeah, like I was saying before that, hopefully we don't bring any, uh, you know, beehives. Most of these are probably already broken. So, like, I'm not too worried. I'm acting like the queen bee's gonna kill me. Nah, no, it's, it's just annoying when the queen bee spawns. I'm not gonna lie. I got stuff to do. I don't need the queen bee attacking me. Speaking about attacking something, Duke Fish Ron, get him out of here. And now let us bring in the ogre and Betsy. I got a genuine question. Would you guys smash the dragon from Shrek? Genuine question. I'm really interested. You know, Donkey did it. Congrats to him. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. And uh, I'm not saying I'm jealous or anything. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> All right, let's kill the Morning Wood and Pumpkin. Pumpkin, we got to catch before he dips off on us. I don't think any of them are going to be able to dip because, you know, I got some homing. I got some through the floor projectile homing who's gonna be trying to run away when i got some power like that ice queen do your best i can see i gave her a head start she still couldn't get away martian saucer should be dead instantly and let us not forget akram and the dungeon guardian i'm hoping the dungeon guardian is an easy kill yeah it took a little bit but it was still an easy kill all right it's speed run time baby it is that time what's up boys all right, let's get it. What if I just shoot that way? Will it kill the the nebula pillar? I'm assuming the nebula pillar is dead. It didn't kill the nebula pillar. You tell you tell me my homing projectiles didn't kill the nebula pillar. That could have saved a lot of time. I'm not gonna lie, we could have saved a lot of time killing the pillar. Kind of got sold by the swords. All right, Bisyon. Oh, survive for a little bit. Oh God, he's doing the lag thing again. Why? Yeah, it's, it's just thing that it does survive for like a split second before the rest of the projectiles hit it. Very interesting. I think like all the Thorium bosses kind of have coding like that. Yeah. Because like their second phase is like a whole different boss it seems. 
a different entity. I, oh, I think we talked about this in a very, very like previous episode. It's still very interesting though. But yeah, if you wondered why I don't test it on more than one Thorium boss, it's because, you know, they're pretty much fairly the same in terms of how they switch to like a whole different enemy in different phases. Abyssion got three phases, so that's why I tested on him. Hey, Moon Lord. Let me bust. Why do I keep saying that? Let me kill the Moon Lord real quick. You know, blow him. You know, blow. Why am I using blow? Shoot a couple swords at him and then let us bring in it this trio right here the ragnarok trio this should be fast like this might be one of our fastest fights right here yup just like that easy peasy let's fight the mutant this should be another fast fight most of these fights have been super fast i'm not gonna lie you already know what fight's not gonna be fast at all it's uh S supreme cal totally looking forward to that fight hey let's fight some juice mod bosses why not why not fight some juice mod bosses i like killing some juice mod bosses oh transformation time die and it killed the final phase let's uh let's bring in gilgamesh and enkidu oh that boy just dropped me to the floor he kicked me off of my mouth i'm about to beat your ass beat his ass so bad he said i all right let us fight uh let's do yarn first why not boom what's up see you later let's bring in providence both of these bosses got very cool death animations well i think a lot of the calamity bosses have pretty cool death animations a lot of the uh post moon lord ones and then let us bring in a dog of course is this this weapon said it could one shot calamity's dog well dog has two phases so what is considered a one shot oh have i been lied to Oh, there you go. Yeah, I just had to hit him in the head. I wonder when this mod was made, though, you know? Was it made when uh, Dog was a lot harder to kill? Because there's been, been a couple phases of Dog, and uh, I believe this is a fairly older mod. One of the ones I just dug up from the past. So I have no idea, honestly. Okay, let us fight Old Duke. Old Duke random appearance. He's not a part of the main cast, but he'll pop up randomly. But now let's fight Supreme Cal. Let's sit around and wait for five minutes i'm hoping i can kill uh sepulcher at least so i don't have to wait that long all right sepulcher please die thank you thank you so much i have been blessed with a nice quick kill hold on i'm breaking all these hearts just in case i need to i'm pretty sure it's a w all right supreme cal dead let's go ahead let's fight the uh Dredon trio boom boom and aries this should be a fairly fast fight too these dudes usually don't put up too much of a fight the only thing they really do that annoys me is make the world dark like come on bro the bosses are dead can i have the light back in the world it's looking like a no it's all good it's all good let's fight the idol on worm let's knock the idol on worm out of the way oh wasn't a complete instant kill it took a maybe like two three swords to hit it not bad not bad at all now let's put on that helmet that we were talking about earlier the op helmet i need this thing to keep me safe what the heck that is not what i expected to look like putting on this helmet it takes away your hair and then it puts like a wooden beam behind your head the sprite is worse than i thought look at this oh my god <laughs> what is going on i think they might have missed the character's head by a couple of pixels all right put my helmet back on so we don't have to see that let's fight egg death and uh bill cypher and whoever else let's start with bill cypher i have a feeling that we could kill him uh i actually kind of want to get hit oh okay so the helmet did lie to me shout out the helmet for lying to my face bill cypher also not dying immediately there we go bill cypher another boss that makes it nighttime i hate that uh now ek death i have a feeling that you know we're gonna kill ek death first before or we're gonna attempt to kill ek death before i attempt to uh use the helmet to see if i live because if Bill Cypher killed me, then I have a feeling that Act Death is going to kill me. As we can see, though, we are beating Act Death's ass. So let's see if this helmet keeps me safe. I have been lied to. Do I even test it on the Uganda Knuckles, like test getting hit? Absolutely not. Oh my god, it did kill the Uganda Knuckles, though. We got another Super Mega Ultra Deluxe Hall of Fame weapon. Whatever I officially name anything that kills the Uganda Knuckles. And I guess at this point, I test if I live or not. I have been lied to, slandered. Let's teleport away and hopefully that despawned them. No, he's still coming over here. Well, I'm going to beat his ass because I have the power to do that today in this episode. Get him out of here. He's still breaking my game. Like, my game literally just stopped. Are you kidding me? 
it crashed <laughs> it fully crashed all right there we go make sure to leave more op weapon suggestions of course and the 50th episode is coming it's been a long time we've been doing this series since what 2019 grinding and going with this series and the 50th episode is here when will i stop this series who knows once i run out of weapons that happens a lot actually yeah i gotta go look up whatever episode i asked you guys to give me a list of hall of fame weapons before you got the knuckles update if you guys want to leave that list here in this comment section too that would help out a lot you know it would save me the time i had to go find the previous comments but yeah hope you guys enjoyed get ready for that uganda knuckle episodes we're gonna visit a bunch of old weapons hopefully those weapons still exist and updated i have no idea maybe they aren't i'll see y'all next time